today on the Groovy Rider, I want to talk about unexpected paths we sometimes have to take in our riding. I am on an old county road, a dirt road, as you can probably hear, down in an area of northern Arizona where I used to live back in the 90s, right when I got out of graduate school. Bought five acres down here, built a little Arabian horse ranch, and it was dirt cheap and the living was a little bit rugged. And I was on my way home today from uh, Prescott and was trying to get back home and I-40 is closed. It is a parking lot for miles. There was apparently a very bad accident. And unless we wanted to sit down in Ash Fork for who knows how many hours with dogs waiting at home and rest and relaxation waiting at home, we needed to take uh, this trail, which is most certainly off the beaten path. It's bringing back a lot of memories of living down in this area and living in some pretty, I don't know, not totally primitive, but some fairly rugged ways. I was young and adventurous and was more than happy to do that. But it's making me think as I'm working on the washboard road here in this little Volkswagen Beetle, Turbo Beetle that keeps wanting to vroom vroom up these hills. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it measured. It just makes me think about the road less traveled in our riding and some of those unexpected paths. I'm going to pan a little bit here so you can see this wild topography. It really is beautiful back here. Uh, some of those unexpected paths we sometimes find ourselves taking. I've definitely had this happen in my writing career, in my writing life, as have many writers I know. And this can be something that either affects our writing like a health issue or a big life change. Maybe having kids, that's a big one that will affect your life if you're a writer. And I think it ultimately really enriches your life. But boy, there, there can be a whole reshuffling of priorities and energies and all that. Look at this big old gully I got across in this big old hill. Look at that. This looks like an abandoned mine shaft or something. I think it's just, I don't know, tunneling through there. Um, but it, they happen. And I think the best thing you can do We'll decide what you want to do, but you roll with it, right? I've had big changes like that with kids and health issues and life issues. And then the not so big ones. I, I remember when I was straight out of grad school and trying to really mar uh, uh, get an agent for a literary, literary novel I had written. That was what I had studied and loved the most in grad school. So I decided I was going to write it too. And I've said in other podcasts, I think I've mentioned this a time or two, that uh, when I eventually got my agent and then that project went out on submission, the feedback I was getting from editors at publishing houses was, hey, we really like this. Has Nicole ever considered writing young adult fiction? And at first I took it, I don't know, a little bit of an insult. I was a literary writer after all. That was sort of my dream. And here were people saying I should consider writing YA. And I thought, well, that's interesting in my my late 20s well, maybe I was in my 30s by that point and you know I hadn't read a contemporary YA really it just wasn't a focus of mine it wasn't a particular interest but you know I took that road less traveled I took that feedback to heart I talked to my agent about it yeah I was in I was in my mid 30s talked to my agent about it and we thought, well, why not? You know, let me try it. And boy, I started doing my research, reading up on a bunch of YA. I'm sorry for the sound here, guys. This is bad washboard. Um, reading up on my YA and getting myself educated there and, and figuring out the voice and all the things that need to go into writing a YA novel. And darned if that wasn't the first novel of mine that sold, and that was my novel, Brianna on the Brink. Uh, that whole journey was was a fascinating one for me, and I, and I, I have a lot of uh, fond memories of that part of my journey. You know, and, and sometimes it's a job change, a family change. Sometimes you read something that has such an effect on you that you think, wow, I want to try this. I want to try writing in this 
genre, or I want to try writing poetry instead of nonfiction, or or something like that. There could be so many different. Um, holding up traffic a little bit here. I'm gonna try not to do that. Um, so many different big and small things that can change our journey. But you know what I say? Just like this this wilderness road that I find myself on completely unexpectedly. I thought I was going to be home in about half an hour, relaxing, you know, maybe do a little writing, do a little grading. I don't know, but this definitely was not in the plan today. Yeah, I kind of miss this place sometimes. It was a great place to have horses. Um, just like this was completely unexpected, it's a, just a detour and it's it's just a, a different path to get where you're going. So if you find yourself faced with some sort of a wilderness path or off-road and you feel like maybe you don't have the best vehicle, so to speak, for traversing that, take heart. Others have gone before you. Others have tried this. Worst case scenario, you turn around. But my guess is you probably won't have to. And along the way, you can make some pretty fantastic discoveries. Sorry, I wanted to avoid that rock. This little beetle is pretty low. <laughs> but my old country driving habits are sure coming back to me. Um, so yeah, you know, take the road less traveled. Don't worry about it. You know, the, the, your, your journey through this riding life does not have to be rigid. And in fact, I think you're doing yourself a disservice if you try to keep it too rigid. So those are my back road, middle of nowhere thoughts, guys. I hope you're all having a great day. I'll talk to you soon.